Cars were burned out and buildings damaged after a U.S. airstrike hit this northern Iraqi town on the border with Syria overnight. Locals said this residential area was used by armed groups to store large amounts of weapons. The U.S. launched airstrikes in Iraq and Syria against more than 85 targets linked to Iran's Revolutionary Guard and the militias it backs reportedly killing nearly 40 people. This was in retaliation for a deadly attack that killed three U.S. soldiers. The strikes, which included the use of long-range B-1 bombers flown from the United States, were the first in response to the attack last weekend in Jordan by Iran-backed militants, and more U.S. military operations are expected in the coming days. Iran's interior minister Ahmad Vahidi said Saturday the strikes would lead to the flames of the resistance and that Washington should act wisely. Iraq summoned the U.S. chargé d'affaires in Baghdad to deliver a formal protest. The strikes intensified a conflict that has spread into the region since war erupted between Israel and Hamas after the Palestinian militant group's deadly assault on Israel on October 7th. An Iraqi state security force, which includes Iran-backed groups, said 16 of its members were killed, while a Syrian group that reports on war in the country said 23 were killed while guarding the targeted locations. Despite the strikes, the Pentagon has said it does not want war with Iran and does not believe Tehran wants war either. <laughs> نؤكد باننا Oh, my God.
U.S. has launched a new round of airstrikes targeting the Middle East, this time in Yemen. The U.S. says it, along with Britain, launched these attacks on sites associated with Yemen's Houthi rebels. Those are the rebels who have been behind all those attacks in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden that have disrupted global shipping. Now, the U.S. says that F-A-18s off the deck of the Dwight D. Eisenhower aircraft carrier, as well as Tomahawk missiles fired by American warships, hit some 13 sites across Yemen. We don't have a real clear idea of how much damage has been done or if anyone was injured in these attacks, but the Houthis say that the attack struck some six provinces that they control, including the capital, Sana'a. In Sana'a, there was footage from people online that showed fireballs shooting up in the sky and smoke rising over the horizon, the sound of explosions echoing off the hills there. All this comes, as we've just seen yesterday, an attack by the U.S. targeting Shia militias in both Syria and Iraq, and all of these attacks come over what we saw a week ago when a drone struck a base in northeast Jordan and killed three American troops and wounded dozens of others. Now for their part, the Houthis have said they're going to continue their attacks on shipping on the Red Sea until they see an end of Israel's war on Hamas in the Gaza Strip. That war has seen militia activity from Lebanon's Hezbollah, as well as the Houthis and the Shia militias targeting American troops more widely in the Middle East. All of this has led to concerns that there could be a further flare-up in tensions in this region and potentially even a wider war.